Hey, Lore Smiths, welcome back for another video update on the Wondrous Expeditions Forest Kickstarter. We took a little summer vacation break to recharge the batteries, especially after this very intense uh, production. We all felt we needed a little break to uh, catch our breath, um, get fully energized again, uh, and to come back refreshed and continue the work that still needs to be done as well as continuing work on our other products such as Remarkable Cults, which is close to finishing and starting on the preparations for next year's Kickstarter Remarkable Guilds. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. So as I let you know in the previous update, the Wanderers Expeditions book is now at the manufacturer and um, it's still a little unclear uh, due to the COVID uh, impact when things are actually going to be printed. There are still shortages of paper and cardboard stock. We keep in close touch with the manufacturer on a weekly basis and as soon as we have an update on the timelines and what to expect we will let you know immediately in, uh, in a video update. In the meantime we are finishing the digital files so we can start to uh, digitally fulfill everybody's digital pledge items, including the main book, the pocket guide, the card deck, uh, maps, etc. We expect to have this ready this week or at least next week. So keep an eye out for your inbox for backer kit emails. Uh, and we are so excited to finally reach this milestone that we finished the book and are able to send you at least a digital version of everything you pledged for. And we can't wait to to hear your reactions of how it eventually turned out. So do let us know, uh, don't disappear, come back here on the Kickstarter page and take a moment to place a comment and let us know. Uh, and you know, not only for me, but for the entire team that's worked so hard on making this book, do come back and, and let them know how you like it. What's your favorite part of the book? what surprised you, what really surpassed your expectation. Maybe you have some critique or you know tips for us for a potentially next installment in this series. So do let us know. We really love to hear your opinion. So also in our previous update, we asked about charging the cards and when to lock down the pledge manager for this project. And it seemed that the overall sentiment was that people were uh, suggesting that we wait a little bit and ship all the items at once instead of shipping it out piecemeal. Um, so we appreciate your vote of confidence. We really uh, appreciate that you care for us and like to prevent our company taking on more costs than needed. Uh, so we really respect that. We are very grateful for, uh, yeah, for your patience basically in, the, in this very challenging time. Uh, on that topic, I wanted to let you know that we are going to partner in the future more closely with Nord Games, uh, which is a, a very well-known name now in the RPG marketplace. And over the years, they've grown quite formidable in terms of not only making their own quality products, but also they've become really good at um, pledge managing and shipping items worldwide. And Lorsmith is a fairly small company, so we decided, you know, we can deliver a much better service if we partner up with other companies who are, you know, much bigger and much better suited um, to ship out packages and pledges worldwide. So that's why going forward, we are going to expand our partnership with Nord Games and have them basically manage the worldwide shipping of all pledges and does, this does mean better coverage in you know having a European shipping location, having a USA shipping location and other continents as well so we can have those really friendly or at least the friendliest shipping rates possible and uh, we're gonna keep you updated on that as well uh, going forward in the future. So that's it for this video update. Uh, I hope everybody's doing fine. Uh, over here in the Netherlands, the COVID restrictions started to lift a little bit. And then, of course, there was a surge in new infection uh, ratings. So now they're closing things back down again. 
So it, it continues to be a little confusing and, and challenging. And I guess this is going to take at least for another year. So the whole COVID thing and the, and the way it impacts various aspects of our lives and, and running a business will probably continue. Um, there's not much we can do. Um, it affects all of us, you, us here, trying to run a startup company. Regardless, I really hope everybody is doing fine and staying safe. I hope you are continuing to enjoy playing lots of cool role-playing games. And uh, let's talk again soon in the uh, next video updates. All right, take care and on to the next one.